Ir open. On it. You think he's gonna show? Bring the whole goddamn place down. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Yeah, that's the point. Let them come. Shit! The hell he got? Whatever got him, don't let him get out.
Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. It doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. Bring it back. trouble for this. Shit! A myth can't be killed. Thank you, everyone. A whole district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Sh well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. 
Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change God. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Is this working the night shift? Yeah, well, then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. With the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. <laughs> ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I turn the city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right. how about uh, a new face? Who got? Look at you. It's not that bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we changed Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, you can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Kate Batfreak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Webb in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, you know, to be killed in a botched robbery in some other way, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. 
and I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of bringing endorsements. next mayor and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Lane? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here, so. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It's just, uh, cut myself shaving. What? Butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. I may want to beat this one. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Bell. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harvard. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang you. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Yeah, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Froko. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. Experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see how we actually help this city instead of just saying he wrote. The man talks too much, traps my face with words. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. 
glad it adds up to something real. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I no more warning. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under. Okay, imagine this is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I can't get a night to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you really know us. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Edward's the break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing.